Hello, I am Dr. Cinema. Well, they're here. The nominations for the Oscar Sarah, Oscar Awards 2018. The nominations are finally here. And there are a lot of movies that are in the running for various types of awards, of course. Now, this is not going to be me reading off all of the nominations. I'm going to be picking, I'm going to be choosing which movies I would like to win out of the nominations already submitted. So, like, for example, there's five nominations for visual effects. I'm only going to be talking about the three movies I would like to win that award. So, and there are a few categories I'm not going to talk about, mainly because I really have no particular stake in it or haven't really, like, seen any movies affiliated with that category. So, with that being said, we're going to start with the lesser categories like visual effects, and we're going to work our way up to the big ones like best picture. So, here we go. So, the category is visual effects. Now, the, there are five nominations, but here are my top three picks for what who I want to win. I would really like Blade Runner 2049. That is nominated, and I would really like that to win the world it made is absolutely stunning and amazing. The num My number two pick is War for the Planet of the Apes. I mean, the apes are just so well done with the CGI motion capture. I mean, they're just really good. And my third pick, Star Wars Episode Eight. Yeah, you probably knew that. Alright, the category is Best Costume. I don't really have any particular picks. Um, I mean, it has Phantom of Phantom Thread. Is that the official name? Phantom Thread? Yeah. It has Beauty and the Beast. There are a few others. It could really go to any of the five picks there. Now we have Makeup and Hair. There's three nominations. Honestly, any of these three nominations could get it. You've got Wander, Darkest Hour, Victoria and Abdul. Either one of them could win it. All right, original song. There are five nominations, but it's probably going to come down to either one of two songs. It's either going to be Remember Me from the animated film Coco, or it's going to be This Is Me from The Greatest Showman. It's probably going to be one of those two. Now, original score. There are five nominations for this list. But here are the three that I would like to win. The number one pick for me, Star Wars Episode Eight. I mean, John Williams. How can you not love that John Williams score? I mean, come on. The next one you have is Dunkirk. Yeah, Dunkirk, that was a pretty good score. I would like to see that win that not award. And then my third pick is The Shape of Water. I don't really remember much about the score of The Shape of Water, but it is a very good movie. It's one of my favorite movies from 2017. Now, production design. There are five nominations, but here are my three picks for what I want to win. Blade Runner 2049. I mean, come on. It, it's, come on. Number two, The Shape of Water. Number three. Beauty and the Beast. Now, I know Beauty and the Beast came up in my top 10 worst movies of 2017. But to be fair, the production is actually really beautiful looking. I would not be surprised if that actually did win. Alright. Now, the categories for sound editing and sound mixing have the exact same nominations. Yes, I, both of those categories have five nominations. And they're exactly the same. So here are my three picks for both of those categories. Blade Runner 2049, like I said. Two, Baby Driver. Baby Driver, I mean, come on, the whole part of that movie is like sound, music, all that stuff. And my number three pick is The Last Jedi. Uh, of course. Now we go over to the film editing. Five nominations. Here are my three picks for what I want to win. I, Tanya. Now, I just saw this movie very recently, but the way they edit that film, 
it's just really entertaining. It's actually pretty very well done. I would I would love to see it actually win an Oscar. Number two, Baby Driver, of course. And three, The Shape of Water, of course. Now, there's a category, Best Foreign Language Film. I've not seen any of these movies, unfortunately, so I'm just going to not even bother looking at it. There's also Best Live Action Short Film. Again, I really haven't seen any of these, so I'm just going to skip it. Best Documentary Short Subject. I know this is not going to make me sound like a very credible film reviewer, but I have not really seen any of these either, so sorry. Now, Best Documentary Feature. I'm sorry. I really need to expand my horizons, but I haven't seen anything in this category. All right, here we go. Cinema cinematography. Five nominations. Here are my three picks. Blade Runner 2049. Dunkirk. The Shape of Water. All right. Now it's original screenplay. Get Out. Of course, Get Out has a few nominations in the Oscars. And I would really like to see this one win. I mean, original screenplay. I really think the story behind the movie is actually very unique. Two, The Shape of Water. Well done, Del Toro. And three, Lady Bird. Yeah, Lady Bird. That reminds me, I have to... Yeah. Look, reminder, I have not seen every movie of 2017, as you can obviously just tell. I would really like to get a chance to see Lady Bird before the Oscars come up. I would probably like to see Phantom Thread as well. Alright, anyway. Adapted screenplay. Now, this is gonna... This is a... This category has to be torn, because... My top two picks are The Disaster Artist, of course, but also the movie Logan. I love Logan. It was my favorite movie of 2017. I'm disappointed it didn't get Best Picture or Best Actor, but it got Best Adapted Screenplay, and that's still pretty good. I'm really torn which one of those two I want to win. But of course, I do have a third pick in case neither of those two win, which is Molly's Game, which is pretty good. I would be somewhat satisfied with that. All right. Now animated, oh, animated short. No, not this category. Animated feature film. That's what I was looking for. Honestly, the only one I actually want to see win is Coco. The only other animated films that might be competition is Ferdinand or The Boss Baby. How the hell did Boss Baby get a nomination? Do we just not have any good animated films this year besides Coco? Whatever. Alright, here is the top six. The top six categories, the big six that everyone talks about. First up, Best Director. You've got Christopher Nolan for Dunkirk. Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. He, there are five nominations for Best Director. Here are my three picks for it. Jordan Peele of Get Out, Greta Gerwig, no, 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 sorry, Greta Gerwig is my third pick, my second pick is Del Toro for The Shape of Water, so, so best director is Jordan Peele of Get Out, Del Toro, Shape of Water, and Gerwig of Lady Bird, all right, best supporting actress, one, Allison Janney of I, Tanya. she was Really kind of intimidating, which was pretty fun to watch. Lori, Lori Metcalf? She's from Lady Bird. And Octavia Spencer, The Shape of Water. Those are my top three picks. All right, Best Supporting Actor, five nominations. Here are my three picks. Richard Jenkins, Shape of Water. Woody, actually... I only have one pick for Best Supporting Actor, surprisingly. Richard Jenkins, Shape of Water. Yeah. Sorry for the misleading thing there. All right, Best Actress. I have three picks for the out of the five nominations. My number one pick, Sally Hawkins of The Shape of Water. Margot Robbie of I, Tanya. 
and Saruzi Sa- 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 Ronan. She's the main actress in Lady Bird. All right, my three picks for best actor. Danielle Kuluwe of Get Out. Daniel Day-Lewis, Phantom Thread. And Denzel Washington of Roman J. Israel Esquire. Long title. All right, best picture. Best picture has... Nine nominations. Now, like I said earlier, I'm going to try to see if I can watch Lady Bird and even Phantom Thread before the Oscars. But here are my... But I don't really... As of right now, I have two picks for what I want to win Best Picture. Shape of Water and Get Out. Like I said, I really want to watch, catch Lady Bird possibly this weekend. I would really love to watch Lady Bird, also Phantom Thread. But the, there are some other nominations, like Dunkirk. I can understand how that got a nomination, but I don't really want to see that win. Anyway, those are my picks for the Oscars 2018. And the next video will be a Batman video.